Hello everyone, this is Benji52, and today I'm showing you how to modify the Blundergat on Resurrection Survival to the Acid Gat or Ghost Deary Gat. Let's get straight into it. Before we start, be sure not to pack a punch the Blundergat before converting it. The weapon must be non pack a punched for this to work. Sometime in the future, the developers should fix this, but as of the making of this video, you must modify the Blundergat first. To be able to modify the Blundergat, you'll need to acquire it. You can get it by continuously rolling the mystery box for 950 points each time until you get lucky. Only one person can receive the weapon, so if someone else gets it, you're fresh out of luck. You can do this step at any time and set up the easter egg no matter the weapon you're carrying, so you should also do this for a friend who hasn't watched this video. As you explore the map, you have likely seen this black and green seed pod growing out of the ground. There are six possible spawn points. Only one pod can spawn at a time, and all are in the courtyard away from the mansion. If you don't recognize these locations, investigate that area until you see one, as they're easy to spot. Once you find it, locate a fresher, remove two of its weak points, stand next to the pod, and kill the tree within its radius. Zombies and sinisters can also fill it, but this takes a long time and is pointless when a single fresher is all it takes to complete the step. Once you have done the step, a giant pumpkin will grow. Knife it, collect the fiery green essence that remains, return to the furnace where you can find book 5 and stamina up, and then press the interaction button on the candles to build the part, the E key for PC users. You can collect a second blue essence, but you must deposit the green one at the candles first, as you may only carry one at a time. If you forget to do this, all that will happen is you will spawn a power up instead. The seed pods will now move to another of the six locations, so you must repeat the above two steps. Kill a fresh idea of the pods radius, knife the pumpkin that grows, collect the blue essence, then craft it at the candles once again. Now you can select which furnace fire you want by interacting with the purple pumpkin. Choose the blue one. It is by far better than the green one and now classes it in every way. Once you have the Blundergat, walk to the furnace to the right of the pumpkin and interact with it. After a few seconds, you will have your brand new wonder weapon. The gun is busted and can easily carry you through the late game. Even on round 70 plus, it is ridiculously effective. Now that you have completed this easter egg, you can pack a punch this weapon for a boost in reserve ammo capacity and magazine size, where with loads of moderate usage, you will never need max ammo for the rest of the game. And that's how you get the strongest weapon in Resurrection Survival. If you want more guides in this game, comment and I'll respond to your suggestions. Cheers and ta for now!